Hello and welcome back to Oxygen Not Include. Let's play episode 165. Um, so the next sort of thing that we want to do besides retrofitting this area uh, is expand our liquid oxygen storage. As you can tell, it's uh, <laughs> it's pretty full right now. We, we've packed this pretty full. Um, I need to build some new support buildings over here, and but we'll basically use this area as our uh, new liquid oxygen area. But before that, I want to tackle just a few... What's going on here? Um, did this break open or something? Maybe it did. I think we're fine with that. Um, before that, though, I want to tackle a few other things. One of the which is that I want to get some more oxygen generation online. I think we're fine just having our oxygen generation all be down here. But basically, I want to take um, our row of deodorizers that we have here and instead uh, go ahead and replace all of these over here with algae terrariums and start working a little bit on, on that. Um, we have a pretty good amount of oxygen here. It's possible that I should be going somewhere else to accomplish this, but I think just go ahead and, and getting our algae terrariums up and going is going to be fine. Get some more polluted water being generated, uh, get some more direct oxygen being produced, use up the remainder of our algae is the plan. Because I still have a good amount of algae left. I have 72 tons. Yeah, we have, a, we have a lot left here. Let's go ahead and hook up a pipe here. And we're going to set it up so that we go plumbing, um, liquid valve. We're just going to set up a valve. Whoa, 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 whoa. Plumbing, liquid valve. Uh, this is not plumbing. Plumbing. Wow, this is, this is rough. Okay. Uh, we can't set it through a wall, that's correct. Uh, let's put it right here, I suppose. This works for me. And we will run a liquid pipe. Um, I think just out from this bottom line right here. Like so. We'll set up a liquid vent. Uh, this can be made out of pretty much anything right here. Liquid pipe, igneous rock, like so. And we're just going to throttle this so that it slowly delivers water to these, these algae terrariums. Is the plan. And get some more oxygen being produced. This air pressure is quite nice. Uh, but I want to kind of compress down everything else here. I want to just start producing more oxygen. So yeah, go ahead and tell them that I want some uh, algae up in here. Also needs water. That's fine. How are we doing? Uh, while we're at it, let's mop up this again. Awaiting delivery of iron ore. The iron is probably way off somewhere. Uh, so let's throttle this down to... Let's just do it really small for now. Actually, maybe not that small. And then we can make it smaller once these have some water. Okay, so they're all doing fine. Let's set this just really small. Um, technically speaking, what is this? 300 grams per second for each of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 times 300. We're also gonna want, they're not gonna be at full capacity all that time. Um, let's set it to 2000. Let's try that. And that'll sort of automatically deliver the water for us. And supply all these algae terrariums. And that'll get some more uh, oxygen being produced. 
And that'll hopefully compress down this. Right, we have a lot of non-oxygen gases, not with ex incredibly high densities, like down here especially, there's really not that much. But this will prevent me from having to like make a whole new system, basically. Okay. That looks good to me. Snazzy suits. Anybody need a suit? Sure. Bubbles, you can have a suit. And let's give one to Bert as well. Is there any more here? No. Okay. Yeah, grab your suits. I should make more suits for, for the rest of our dupes. But let's go ahead and start working a little bit more on this area over here. So this needs to repla be replaced with window tile, diamond window tile. It's kind of odd that diamond window tile is the most conductive of all the tiles that you can make. We also see that this liquid vent is having the problems that we kind of predicted, that it's overfilling. It's completely submerged in water, but uh, or not water, but crude oil. But because crude oil only has 870 kilograms per tile uh, density, this is still outputting, right? So this is still filling up. 445, 446, 447, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, right? This is still increasing. So we're going to need to add something onto this um, at some point. For now, I'm fine if this thing just completely fills up with, with oil. Right? We're just going to fill this all up with oil. It's not the biggest thing in the world. We're just going to be really slow in having petroleum be produced, but it's going to be pumped out. Once it gets hot enough, it's going to be pumped out to these liquid reservoirs, and these liquid reservoirs are then going to take up um, the hot crude oil into our uh, industrial stuff. So this is fine, right? This is just more thermal mass for the system, which is fine. Temperature's slowly starting to rise on this. We want to get this stuff built. I think is the, the shorter things. And we also hmm, probably don't want this liquid pump here. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. I think the way that we're going to tackle the harnessing of heat from this exhaust area down here is that we're just going to open up an area to thermal communication with uh, something else. Right, and we're going to use that to generate steam, which we're then going to run through a turbine. Or we can use it for some other purpose. So we could, we could be Kind of in the same way that we are down below, we could be making petroleum using this heat source. But uh, we're going to replace all this bunker tile with insulation and just close off this area entirely. And these cooling lines are not going to go through here once we've got all that done. New printables available. What do we got? Uh, a bunch of stuff we don't we want. None of these guys have divers lungs. Some of them have allergies, which is turning out to be a little bit of a pain because I'm not quite sure why I still have some floral scent germs in my base. I got rid of all the mirth, not the mirth leaf, the buddy buds, so why is it still happening? This is awaiting delivery of ceramic, this is awaiting delivery of diamond. Um, let's just bump up the priority on these a little bit. And as we do that, let's also start planning out our liquid oxygen storage and our uh, petroleum refineries. So... Refinement, oil refineries, you can make these out of steel, I just, I have a lot of steel at this point, um, we've been going for a while, and I don't really intend on needing a whole bunch more steel, so I'm fine using it even though it isn't strictly necessary in some of these applications. This is going to be something at roughly room temperature, I think. And let's go ahead and move some of these wheeze warts down to somewhere else. In fact, for now, let's just go ahead and move them down to here. Seems good. The coolant that we flushed out of the system is kind of warming everything up. Yeah. What is this at? This is at 66. Yeah, alright. Get some wheeze warts planted here. And for refinement, we are going to slap down an oil refinery made out of steel. One right here, and one right here. Perfect. Okay. We are going to need to have outputs here, but I think that's going to be fine because we are going to... Um, we're, we're going to set up our piping so that it has a proper prioritization, which means we're going to be using bridges, which means we ought to have 
um, sort of a correct way of doing this regardless, right? I think we'll be fine in terms of getting all our pipes everywhere that we need them to be. Um, yeah. Okay. So, let's go ahead and say... Um, I think I kind of want to put most of the piping in through here and just have a little bit of insulated stuff go up. I think is the plan. Yeah, so we want to say liquid bridge. Um, and we'll make these out of ceramic. We're going to have a liquid bridge here to say that this is a higher priority system. Right? Like so. Um, and then we will say insulated liquid pipe. Interesting, I can make insulated liquid pipe out of tungsten and wolframite. A little bit odd, uh, but we're going to connect up like so, right, to our, our inputs here. Um, and this will basically say, look, as you pump out oil from the system, uh, it goes up here, and if it can, it goes to this system first, and then it goes to this system. I think that's fine. Uh, I don't really care about the prioritization too much, but that'll also leave us room here to dump our our petroleum, right? And then we can also go ahead and say that this system should come out like so. Liquid bridge, ceramic. Uh, is this insulated liquid pipe? Yes, okay, that's fine. Um, just want to make sure. We're gonna say liquid bridge. We still want this insulated. It's not gonna be as hot as this line right here, but it's still gonna be like 90 degrees. Or is it going to be, it's going to be 75, right? And we're going to say, if you can merge onto this, then merge onto this. And then we will say liquid vent, steel, uh, set one up just right here. Like so. And say insulated liquid pipe, ceramic right here. All right, pretty simple. Pumping out the oil from here, going into these oil refineries. Uh, with a fully prioritized line, right? It's kind of interesting that we're, the way I've set this up is that maybe a little bit backwards because I'm giving this priority in terms of inputs, but I'm giving it secondary priority in terms of outputs, which should probably be the other way around, right? The one that has priority on inputs should also have the priority on outputs. Also, positioning wise, this is probably the one that should be running most of the time because it's closer to everything, so people are going to have to run in less. Doesn't, yeah, this is fine. I, I don't really care. This is not going to be a big a big difference and uh, I think it looks a little bit cleaner than what we would do if we set it up the other way okay so we have those hooked up and we have a while to go because this oil we're gonna wait till it's like 200 degrees before we start pumping it out in here uh, but we're also going to want to basically seal off this area and uh, let's go ahead and work a little bit on that do it like this Let's uh, plant some wheeze warts down here. Start cooling off this area. All right, so we have our window tile set up here. Um, I kind of want to start deconstructing this. Yeah, let's go ahead. We can deconstruct, deconstruct this insulated tile. Not that it's absolutely critical, but might as well, I suppose. And then, uh, normally I would have a thermal regulator right here, but this is being blocked by a wall. I guess I could have moved the wall over a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I really care about that too much. Um, I do want this to not be carbon dioxide, so I will want to think of something for that, I guess. I mean, there, I guess there is an easy... This is this. Once this temperature comes down enough, I can just remove an area here and then uh, open up this this wall and let it push out the carbon dioxide wouldn't be a bad idea that does mean I need to be able to access this from down here which is awkward okay we'll just wait for this to cool down a little bit how is the cooling going by the way so the hydrogen is now uh, coming in here at negative 32 degrees and it is coming back in at 48 degrees 
Yeah, so this is this gas reservoir has already cooled down all the way to 50 degrees, and this whole environment should start cooling down pretty quickly. Um, close to the bunker tile, the bunker tile is still 101 degrees, and that's going to have a lot of heat on it. Likewise, uh, these storage bins are going to have a lot of heat on them, but um, we're going to get a lot of we're going to get a lot of cooling going on here. Can they not? They cannot reach this, huh? That's awkward. Um, you can construct one more of these, I guess. We'll put another wheeze wart somewhere down elsewhere. Are there any hot spots anywhere I need to worry about? I guess this area is a little bit hot. Yeah, you know what? Sure, why not? Uh, furniture. Flower pots. Set some up right here. Okay. And let's just scaffold our way up. And see if we can't get this one built first. Wart seed, please. Alright, cool. Yeah, so maybe I actually just move this wall over by one. Like this wall down here, just move it over by one. That way I can fit in an extra thermoregulator. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and uh, utilities, thermoregulator. Let's go ahead and set up the rest of our thermoregulators. Right? So normally we'd put one here. But now we're going to put one here. 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 And I guess I don't have room to put one here. I guess I did have room to put one here and then I removed that room, didn't I? That would be awkward though. I would need... Yeah, okay. Never mind. Let's change things back. <laughs> I did things wrong. I do want that extra space, but I want it on this side. Yeah, so let's replace this, and we're going to move this wall out a little bit. Um, but only after we have opened up an area here, and we're only going to do that after this is cooled down a reasonable amount. I guess it is cooled down a reasonable amount. Okay, never mind. Let's... Yeah, let's go ahead and drain some of this to somewhere else, I think. Yeah, I think I'm ready to do that. Okay. So we're going to move a little bit of this out of the way. I need to put up a power system here anyways. So I ideally want to put like eight liquid reservoirs somewhere. Where do I want to set that up? Where do I want eight liquid reservoirs to sit? Um, I already have some lines here. Hmm... Yeah, let's just get rid of these. Get rid of this one, get rid of this one. Um, I don't have anything in these, right? Doesn't look like I have anything in them. Interesting that I don't have chlorine going into here because it's exited already. Huh, strange. Okay. There's nothing in here, though. Okay, whatever. Yeah, we'll just set up some reservoirs down here. Go ahead and deconstruct this. And I already know where I'm going to put the other one. Uh, wait, what happened? Okay, cancel deconstruct now. Okay, good. Tile! Igneous rock. Uh, actually, I'm using granite. I don't care. That's fine, too. Let's replace this. Uh, I'm all so willing to do this. And then we are going to say base. Liquid Reservoir, Iron Ore is fine, one, two, yeah, sure, so one, two, three, four, one, two, three, this is not quite enough, but it'll clear out enough of this that I can start putting stuff up here, and let's say plumbing, liquid pipe, Igneous rock is fine. Uh, I guess we'll bridge over here. Like, uh, I don't want to make it out of ceramic. Igneous rock is fine for this. Let's rotate it again. Alright, liquid pipe. Igneous rock. 
Connect this up. Connect here. Connect these. Connect these. Connect here. Connect down. Connect. 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 All right, cool. Putting these all in a series rather than parallel. That way we don't have as many uh, FPS problems as a result. Okay. Let's open the space back up again. Let's also go ahead and finish up some of this insulation. Yeah, this ought to be fine. Um, we can go ahead and sweep up this. Oh, that lag. Okay. Sweep up this. Um, and I think we're going to do something basically just very similar to this with these liquid reservoirs. We're going to have a thermosensor. Where's my thermosensor? Um, it'll be under automation. Yeah, we'll have a thermosensor. Make this out of steel. This seems fine. Plumbing. Liquid pump. Steel. Boom. We will have presumably some amount of power going to this somehow. Uh, I won't do that. Well, let's just set up the rest of it first. Base. Liquid reservoir. Steel. We'll do three of them like so. We're not going to need as much storage here. Three ought to be fine. We're going to say plumbing. Liquid pipe should be fine. We can make this out of igneous rock. It doesn't really matter what it's made out of. Igneous rock is cheap. And we will connect up. Connect it up a little bit differently. Um, I guess a little, not that much differently. That's just fine. Let's just have this be insulated, though. Uh, did I do that right? I did, I'm, I'm making this out of insulated. No, this is liquid pipe. Liquid pipe. Insulated liquid pipe. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. Automation. Automation wire. Steel. Hook this up like so. Okay, looking good. We are now draining this out into these. Perfect. This will allow us to uh, open up a spot here after we close this in and force all the CO2 out. We'll have more hydrogen just pump in from here. Looking good. We do want to change this. All these are still running at this point. 44, yeah, they should be running just fine. This is coming back at 35 degrees. Sure. Okay. Cool. Base, insulated tile, ceramic. Let's get ready to finish up the episode. So we've set up this. This is gonna be our petroleum heating area. Yeah, this is still just compressing. Eventually this will reach a point where it stops, right? Eventually it'll reach that um, one ton per tile because it'll just add to the density here, but I don't think we'll pressure enough to damage these tiles. I mean, maybe I should get some of this out of here. I have 56 kilograms at this point. That's a lot. Eh, I don't know. I think, I think, I think we're fine. Okay. Um, yeah, and one more, one more thermal regulator, make this out of steel, this goes right here, but then we're also going to have, um, ventilation, insulated gas pipe, actually this, 
is annoying, isn't it? The way that we, this is set up. Yeah, this actually doesn't work. We need this line to work differently. Um, that's fine. We can we can rearrange this, but this is a change that we need to make. If if we were to set things up, so this is a, a problem that we could run into. If we were to set things up so that this connected into here, these two would compete with one another, and and it would it would mess up the flow of the system and be less efficient. Um, like the way that this works, this bridge is. Um, not on its own line, it's on the same line that this one is taking, and as a result, it is waiting for this to, for this line to be clear before it transports stuff across the bridge, right? But if we have these two just merging without that sort of connection, then it'll create problems for the, for the sort of AI of this. So we're gonna go ahead and say, deconstruct this gas bridge, and we're gonna build it uh, here. All right, so ventilation, Inside gas pipe, ceramic, uh, sorry, we need to deconstruct this. Ventilation, inside gas pipe, ceramic, um, yeah, okay. So we want to, for one, hook up these, but then we're going to hook up this to here, and then it is just going to run straight up. We can have it go through here too. That's fine, but we're gonna we're gonna run this line down here after getting rid of uh, getting rid of this. This is made of igneous rock. I don't really want the insulated gas pipe made of igneous rock. It probably isn't that big of a difference, but let's deconstruct that as well then. Okay, so we're gonna rearrange this line a little bit. We're gonna need to rearrange it more because we don't want the cooling to be going through this area, which is going to be very hot. Is part of the plan. Ventilation, insulated gas pipe, ceramic. We can connect up just like so. And we will have a bridge. Gas bridge. Ceramic. Boom, like so. And then this we can just deconstruct. Hydrogen will get out, but that's fine. Perfectly fine with that. Right, any hydrogen that gets released in the system is just gonna float up here and eventually settle up here. And then whenever these doors open, it'll get flushed out of the system. It's kind of a waste of hydrogen, but it's fine. Uh, get back online. Okay. So, we can go ahead and deconstruct this liquid reservoir and deconstruct this liquid reservoir and we will build um, a ladder up through here. That way we can continue accessing these, these areas after we f sort of wall them off with this uh, diamond wall. That is the plan. Invalid building location. Mm, you're going to make me do it right now, I guess. Anything else I want to change? This is hooked up correctly. This is all correct. We do need to power the system. Yeah, okay. Uh, power, conductive wire. Again, we'll make this out of steel for this area even though it isn't really strictly necessary. And then we'll just go gold for these others. You know, just run it through here is fine. Um, this is this is kind of enough power because these pumps are not going to be running all the time and these aren't going to technically be running all the time either. This, this should be enough power for the system. Let's get the, these wires built. Yeah, and then we just want to move this wall over one. That way we can fit another thermoregulator. These temperatures are fine. Okay. Base, ladder, igneous rock. Let's just try and finish this up before we close out the episode. And we're probably, it's gonna take a little bit longer than that, I suppose. New printables available, didn't notice that.
What do I got? None of you have diver's lungs. I mean, this is useless, but whatever. These guys are even more useless. Mouth breathers? That's the opposite of where we want to go. Print that out, and I'm going to cut the episode here, and I'll catch you guys next time.